Hi guys, William Morris here, and today I just wanted to show you a sort of custom sound design instrument I made, uh, which I'm calling the cello guitar. Now this is basically, I guess, halfway between an electric guitar and a cello. So it's played to be a bowed instrument, uh, which I've got here. And the basic setup is a, a bass bridge. Uh, this is a part of a kind of bridge saddle from a cello, and there's a guitar pickup in there four strings um, and the idea of the cello bridge is that we can kind of play each string um, individually as opposed to the guitar where it's kind of really hard to to get the angles to uh, play sort of separate string parts and there's these two big cutouts uh, so you can get a really kind of big angle with the bow either side obviously i've got it flat on the desk at the minute so it's pretty hard to hit that kind of a uh, high either I'm mainly using it with the bow, but you can uh, play it as a normal instrument. The tuning is quite unstable on it, so it's best as more a kind of atonal instrument rather than something that's going to be melodically played. But you can get it reasonably stable enough to play sort of simple parts in. So I'll play through a few things now, and then we're going to jump into contact and I'll show you some of the kind of sound design patches I've created with it. First thing you've got to work in is try and get plenty of... Uh, rosin here on the bow. This is just a cheap £5 bow off eBay for the guitar strings but you do need a decent amount of rosin because the, the strings are kind of heavier gauge than most uh, violins would be. So I have the guitar plugged in uh, through the Kemper amp here which is a, a kind of guitar simulation type amp. So uh, yeah let's have a listen. <laughs> As you can hear, it's pretty um, kind of <laughs> raw and ready. Uh, and that is the sound just on its own, just going through one of the amp sims with a touch of distortion on. But where it sort of really comes alive is uh, adding in some reverb. Helps to kind of sustain out the notes and just level everything out a bit. You can also add some compression, which is quite nice, and a bit of tremolo if you want some kind of wobble on there as well. It is kind of tricky to play uh, lying down like this. So hopefully that should give you an idea of uh, just kind of the rough sounds you can get from it. Uh, we're going to jump into contact now and take a listen to some of the sound design patches I've done. Uh, I'm also going to try and put up a few shots of basically how it came together and how the, the build was done in a very rough sort of way. I'd say all the parts are pretty readily available for cheap. I think I probably spent less than £20 on everything all together and that included uh, some of the wood uh, I had to buy the cello bridge saddle here but everything else I just had lying around basically okay guys so here we are inside contact and I just wanted to play you a couple of the patches that I've made uh, from the sampling the cello tar both these are sort of geared towards uh, trailer type sound design. So the first one I have is the Celotar hard bow, which is just kind of made by doing a really kind of hard staccato sort of dig on the strings. And that sounds like this. So 
got a nice wide range there and it really does have a lot of uh, attack especially in those higher registers to cut through in the mix great kind of thing for your your big uh, first beat accents okay so the next patch i've got is a uh, riser sort of style thing and this was basically made by uh, tremolo bowing the the strings and then kind of gradually building in intensity and that one sounds like this <laughs> And here's a lower one. And a, a really high one. So really aggressive stuff, uh, really kind of helps to cut through in the mix. These have both gone through some sort of additional processing and effects and stuff, which mainly a lot of uh, saturation and distortion type plugins. And then some uh, reverb really sounds great on the on both actually. Uh, you can put a kind of nice long tail reverb and let them ring out. Okay, so uh, that wraps it up from me guys. If you're interested in the, the Chalotar build or any of the contact patches, uh, just give me a shout in the comments.